series 30-something has received so much critical acclaim for its probe of life for those in their 30s. If you watch it, you know the work of actor Timothy Busfield. He plays Elliot. Oh, meet Timothy Busfield. <laughs> Boy, what a heavy scene. I know, I had a little early for that kind of Ooh, stuff. How many times do you do a scene like that, or do you get it right the first time? Well, that actually, most of that take right there was the first one. That, that was, it was, uh, uh, the wider shot was in, 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 most of that scene played in the first, in the first take. The, we did about 18 takes of that scene, and, the, and he kept saying, what about this, or I want this, I want that, and I kept, saying, I think we got that in the first take, and, and I couldn't quite get back up to that level. That, sort of, that came out. We, we'd been improvising and working, and they rolled cameras, and Patty and I were into a groove, and we just took off, and uh, a lot of that scene right there. And a lot of the scenes we have, the best stuff is in the early takes, and a director will just, to cover themselves, just to make sure they have two or three that they really like, will take, you know, 17, 18 takes, which is rare for TV. Oh, that but is very but we, rare. Yeah, usually you're up around six or seven at the most, and people start getting tense and, and start looking and tapping their foot and saying, let's move on. But, but not on 30-something? You have the freedom to it, the director and others to keep going? Well, that's one of the neatest things about the show is that it caters to the writers and the directors. And, and uh, it's not an actor show like a lot of shows. You think it's, you know, the, 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 the actors dictate the temperament of the show and, and how the course of how things, and they'll let things go. On Trapper John, they would just let things go if it was in the ballpark. And on 30-something, the uh, producers encourage the directors to go in there and get it. Now, they don't like it f to go 16 or 17 takes, but if it has to, then they're not afraid to, to go in there. To Maybe get what that's they want. in a way, I, I think, a big lesson because I think the writers on any show, I think we're beginning to fully realize that the writers better give the actors good material or it never will fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the and actors love that too. Oh, oh, it's, it's all the material. I sure. mean, it's not, I, I, I'm not that much of a better actor than I was two years ago. Yet the writing is so much stronger for me now than I've ever had before. So it's 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 just allowing me to grow and and. And Tim, I, we just met, so I hope this isn't really invasive. But when I watch that kind of a scene, knowing that you went through a divorce mm -hmm. and have a five-year-old son, Willie, right. did you do you always kind of in some way draw on your personal pain? Well, with uh, with thirty something, often, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the scenes are that way. Uh, the separation episode when I had to say goodbye to my son. Uh, it was very difficult, and that was very real. And sometimes yes, and sometimes no. Uh, Elliot is very different from me in many ways, and very like me in others. So there will be things that in the office that I don't really know anything about advertising and stuff like that. And I'm an actor and not a businessman all the time. So, but this show it may it may use those very real things like business as a part of the story because it has to be but it right. really deals with feelings yeah it's not about the business at no. all yeah it is and that is very that's a lot of the things we touch on are universal there's not a lot of uh, they seem more complex because we're going into them deeper than a lot of people have but the problems we really deal with are simple and and uh, I think that other people are, it's not it's not like this foreign thing I'm dealing They're with. They're basic yeah. to all of us, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Um, it, it, the show is receiving such critical acclaim, mm -hmm. but, but I just wonder, do you ever get any mail that says, this is so close to home, it's difficult for me to watch, I'd rather turn on something light and fluffy? I mean, how... Oh, how that happens a lot. I mean, people will say that. I'll meet people and they just can't deal. They just don't want to approach the questions that we, per, you know, go into. They just don't want to deal with that, which is understandable. But you must also get an awful lot of mail that says, oh, that's just what I was feeling, you helped get, me through yeah. it. I also get mail telling me to repent, you know, and then and, <laughs> and then go back to Nancy and what a big mistake yeah. I'm making in my life, and it's addressed to me. Do you, you do know. share it with the writers? Well, yeah, we put. Well, I usually I'll open the the mail, a lot of the mail in the office there, and and they'll really and they always we get a kick out of some of the mail is really funny and some of it's really sweet. And well, for those that that want to know more about you, how are you getting on with your son Willie? Do you spend a lot of time with him? Oh yeah, I'll pick him up uh, day after tomorrow for the summer. We, I see him, he lives in, in a different city than I live in, and so it's hard for me to see him. He lives, uh, you know, a long ways away, or at least an hour by plane, you know. So I, I, I don't get to see him but about every six weeks, and I'll see him for a week, and then I'll see him all summer long. How's he doing? He's doing really good. He's talking, and, and uh, he says, you know, I dealing with my girlfriend Jennifer, and, and you know what, she's not mom, and that kind of stuff, and he talks about it. and. You know, he'll say things to me, and I'll say, I couldn't talk to my dad like that. You know, I've never been able to talk to my dad like that, and he's six, and he's, he's, it's really neat. It's really a neat special. Well, in a way, I have to say, too, credit to his mother for keeping a balance. Oh, she's and, doing a great job, no she? doubt about it. We're, you know, we're a team, and we always will be with, with uh, Willie. Whether we're apart or whether we're together, we still have to raise this, you know, this entity, and 
Let me let some people know that you work very hard at something called Fantasy Theater. Mm -hmm. I mean, you uh, present to about 150 school kids a year, don't you, oh, in Sacramento? Oh, yeah, 150,000 we play That's to every year. Yeah. yeah, and it's uh, in Sacramento. We tour the schools and we do plays for kids. and trying to encourage the children in writing plays and then we that's the main focus of the theater is to find the young writer and sort of groom them like athletes and stay Great. with them from 8, 9, 10, 13, 15. Nonprofit? Nonprofit Theater for Children Touring Actors Equity. It's a professional company. Isn't Actors from New York and Los Angeles going into the schools and Leaving them walking away saying theater's cool, you know, walking. Boy, out. would I like to see a carbon copy of that in Boston, which is such a theater hotbed. I would think that should happen in every area that has theater and can draw on professionals. Well, some so the, most cities have some sort of theater for children. Most don't have professional theater for children. They don't have actors that might be working at, at you know, some of the, the local professional theaters in town. They draw on, most children's theaters draw on college kids, but, right. but we draw on professional actors that have done, you know, Broadway and off-Broadway and TV and film. You have been, uh, you may be an overnight success with 30-something for some folks, but you've been working and you work very hard. Commercials, obviously Trapper John. Trapper John, Revenge of the Nerds, I was in both of those movies, so. It's but a, is yeah. this a really good time for you? This is really good because it's, um, I, I've been playing, ch I've been playing children, I've been playing people uh, as a character actor. I've played lots of all the plays I did in, at the Long Wharf or Louisville or, or play, all, all the plays I've done were always sort of out there characters and, and uh, or maybe the boy next door and young kids and uh, young adolescents going through, you know, puberty and losing their virginity and stuff like that. And now I'm playing somebody who, who's closer to home. Who's dealing with life after losing their virginity. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, I'm, and I, I get to share that. And it's something that I know a lot more and I can share as a, you know, as a, hopefully as a, as a performing artist or an artist, you want to share what you have sure. with people and your interpretation and bring people into that. And I can do that with what I've, what I've gone through now. And it's, it's, yeah. it's interesting. It shows. It's fun. It shows. Thank you, Timothy. Oh.